The parade shooting in Illinois and other shootings across the country are raising questions about the safety of our local events. And for years, area hospitals, including Gunderson Health and Mayo Clinic, have conducted drills to prepare for mass shootings. News A Now's Rob Romano checked in with area first responders to discuss preparedness. Rob? Amy and Ken Mayo Clinic says that in the event of a mass casualty event, that it has open lines of communication with Gunderson Health to coordinate emergency care for patients. Both hospitals say they regularly conduct drills to keep people safe. Shooter exercises, uh, we've uh, done big drills um, at uh, many of our Gunderson campuses where we actually simulate after hours um, what would happen if. Tom Wright is the emergency manager of Gunderson Health. Since at least 2014, the hospital system has conducted trainings to prepare for mass casualty events. It's about the integration of police response. How would we deal with manage, managing the casualties, get them to the emergency department? Wright adds that planning is also done with firefighters and area EMS workers to prepare for anything that could happen. I see nothing that we would do different. Uh, we study the incidents that other communities have had. Uh, try to uh, try to gear training towards something that might uh, possibly relate to it. I specifically asked Wright about the issue of high capacity assault rifles that could severely wound people and if the hospital system would be prepared in the event of a potential mass shooting involving one. It's a concern and again my hat goes off to folks in the in our trauma services who uh, are very aware of those situations. Um, we've worked to buttress uh, EMS response that, uh, you know, the faster the better. I asked Mayo Clinic's Director of Environmental Safety and Emergency Management, Paul Albrecht, about the same issue. We make sure that we're prepared in any of those situations. Um, we, can, we can treat any of those um, injuries that we would see if we'd need to. We could triage them and transport them to another facility as needed if it's, if it's exceeding our capabilities. Albrecht says emergency drills for mass casualty events are conducted at Mayo at least twice a year. He adds that Mayo conducts lots of other smaller drills for preparation. During large emergencies, Albrecht says patients are categorized based on severity. We kind of categorize patients as red, yellows, and greens depending upon the severity of their injuries. And then we, in each instance, the, the charge nurse in the emergency department looks and works with the provider to say, oh, we can take maybe four reds, uh, you know, a handful of yellows, you know, eight greens or whatever, to let the transport companies um, and our other entities know, okay, Mayo can take X number of patients, Gunderson can take X number of patients. And Mayo Clinic's emergency management director adds that in the event of a large mass casualty event that it could also make use of its facilities outside of La Crosse to manage a sudden influx of patients. Amy and Ken, back to you. All right, thank you, Rob. Gunderson says anyone that's interested in learning more about how to immediately help in the event of one of these mass shootings can do so by participating in the National Stop the Bleed program. So that program consists of an hour-long course that teaches everyday people how to immediately respond to someone who's bleeding. And anyone interested in taking the course can do so at stopthebleed.org.